move on to dollar yen, which was a question before. All right, so dollar yen putting in a pretty good reversal here. Something to consider. You see these magenta lines here. These are uh, Fib retracements. So from the 2015 high down to the 2016 low, 618 retrace is 1550. It's a pretty sticky level, right? We topped there back in November had a very earlier kind of fake out move to the upside, which we talked about during these webinars. Um, if you remember the square root progressions that we talked about, we kind of nailed that top. In fact, the close, I think, was the exact square root uh, progression, one square root progression of the upside from the year open. Guess what we did today? We traded through 1550, now we're reversing the downside. So again, to me, this is resistance. I like selling at resistance, right? Um, kind of, you know, pretty simple. Keep it simple that way. Got a bunch of questions coming in. All right, so here's a question about volume. Does volume matter in Forex? Does volume matter like FXCM real volume matter or just CME? So, all right, it's a good question. All right, so FX is not a, uh, there's no centralized exchange for spot FX, right? Like the volume that I look at, which I use as a proxy for the market in general is, is futures volume. Um, because you're right, there's gonna be, you know, you're looking at volume at different, you know, different market makers. So I do look at futures volume on the CMA for currency futures to, you know, as a proxy for, um, you know, for volume in general. Um, so like, that's what I would do. I, you know, I haven't experimented with looking at volume at different market makers, but yes, volume does matter. Absolutely. Like, you know, if I were to show you big volume down, you know, and big volume reversals like they work just as well in fx as they do in equities and indices and other commodities 